Hi, Dusty Jacobson, Metso. I'm a global technical sales support for crushing and screening. And uh, the crusher that we launched here this week is the MX line of crushers. And in brief, it is the next evolution of our line of crushers uh, that merges the previous technologies like the Simons Cone Crusher, which later became the Omnicone and the HP, and the Hydrocone style machines, which are GP line of crushers. And in short, a lot of the mechanics and the high crushing force from the HP machine have been used on this machine. Uh, but there is a level of adjustment of the position of the head to allow for different close side settings for production needs as well as wear of the liners that has been taken from the hydrocone style machine. Uh, the real benefits on this machine production wise are going to be that you get more accurate and tight control of the product through the machine by being able to dynamically adjust the sending of the machine if needed to adjust for uh, different feed going to the plant as well as different product splits. Uh, it also allows for more continuous operation of the entire plant because you can adjust this setting dynamically without having to stop the feed to the crusher to turn the bowl. Um, but it does retain a, a, bowl reten or a bowl turning system to change the setting, which gives us very even wear of our liners throughout the life of the liners. Uh, as far as the operating cost and the uptime of the machine, the real big benefits are not having to stop the feed uh, in order to make the setting adjustments. Uh, with the steeper head angle and the chamber dynamics, we also get very good liner utilization. Uh, some of our first machines are reaching up to 70% liner utilization, so very low scrap rates. Um, it's also a very energy efficient machine uh, because we can set it to run in certain operating modes to maximize the production that we're looking from the certain product size. So if you're looking to make a, a coarser aggregate, you can set the machine up to dynamically adjust the close side setting the cavity level of the machine, and then in some cases with the VFD on the drive, also the speed of the crusher to maximize the product that you have uh, for the energy that you're using on the machine.